Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. The Investment Facilitation for Development, IFD, Accord at the World Trade Organization, WTO, has sparked much debate, particularly about India's position. The IFD negotiations began in 2017, with 70 countries participating under the Joint Statement Initiative. The purpose was to establish legally obligatory regulations to help smooth investment flows. The deal was finalized in November 2023, with support from approximately 120 out of 166 WTO member countries, accounting for more than 70% of the membership. The proposal to add the IFD Pact as a plurilateral pact in Annex 4 of the WTO agreement has prompted concerns regarding its legitimacy. However, Article 2, 3 of the WTO agreement allows for plurilateral agreements, which bind just the member countries that choose to join without imposing responsibilities on others. India has opposed the inclusion of the IFD agreement in the WTO rulebook, citing concerns about the negotiation process and whether investment fits under the WTO's ambit. India contends that investment does not always entail cross-border trade, despite the close association between trade and investment underlined in economic literature. India also complains about procedural anomalies in the negotiation process, citing prior WTO decisions that limited negotiations on trade and investment. India's concerns regarding the separation of investment and trade are understandable. But empirical data reveals extensive overlap between the two sectors, as demonstrated in global value chains and current trade accords such as the RCEP and CPTPP. India's dedication to procedural integrity within the WTO is admirable, but the relevance of previous decisions to plurilateral negotiations is uncertain. Plurilateral agreements, such as the IFD, provide a means of addressing current trade difficulties in the face of the WTO's legislative stalemate. Plurilateral agreements allow for proactive rulemaking in areas of shared interest among participating countries by eliminating the need for consensus in multilateral negotiations. Embracing measures such as the IFD Pact might position India as a proactive actor in defining global trade norms, which is consistent with its economic objectives and international standing. Finally, the IFD negotiations at the WTO demonstrate the complexity of trade and investment regulation in today's global economy. India's complaints mirror broader discussions over the WTO's mandate and decision-making processes. While legal subtleties and procedural problems must be carefully considered, Accepting plurilateral agreements presents a great opportunity to revive the WTO's legislative function and adapt to changing trade dynamics. That's all for today. Stay tuned for more updates. Thanks for joining us.